So we talked. We talk about the captivity of Jacob, the captivity of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans here in in in, in America. We talked about the brutal history of the so-called white man, who is Esau in the Bible, and the the rise of his nation by use and force of the sword, and how he's basically driven all the other nations in, into his way of life, his way of thinking, which is antagonistic to the scriptures. What is the culmination of all that? What is what is the what is the outcome? Uh, of all of these events that have taken place over the course of history. Well, it's going to lead into the destruction of their nation, the utter downfall of their kingdom, and the, and the basically the rising out of the dust of, of the nation of Israel into the true righteous leadership of the of the world to come okay and um, not only you know now we have these questions and we wonder you go through the scriptures you go through the prophecies the the, the, the um, prophets of old had those same questions right and so when you read in the book of second Ezra the, the, if you go through the chapter by chapter you notice that he's a question okay what's going to happen to your chosen people well, what's going to happen to the you know the state that they in okay so when you read here in second Ezra the sixth chapter I like to start at the top um, it gives you a little bit of understanding of, of, of the, the point of all these things, okay? So 2 Ezra 6 and 1, it, And he said unto me in the beginning, when the earth was made, before the borders of the world stood, or ever the winds blew, before it thundered in lightning, or ever the foundations of paradise were laid, before the fair flowers were seen, or ever the movable powers were established, before the innumerable multitude of angels were gathered together, or ever the heights of the air were lifted up, before the measures of the firmament were named, or ever the chimneys in Zion were hot, and the and ere the present years were sought out, or ever the inventions of them that now sin were turned, before they were sealed that have gathered faith for a treasure. Then did I consider these things, and they all were made through me alone and through none other. By me also they shall be ended and by none other. So the, the Most High has an intention for, for this world. The Most High has a direct intention and reason why he took everything through a process. Before everything was created, he had already had something determined. And that's what's being inquired right here by Ezra. Okay, then answered I and said, What shall be the part in the sunder of the times, or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, Esau, the so called white man, is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Jacob, the nation of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American. First, the elect. That's the intention, man, for, for Esau's world to be ended and for, and for uh, Jacob's world to begin, man. What type of world? A world ruled in righteousness. Because this, this world on this side that we're living in is being destroyed by Esau's polluted way of being. That's why the air is uh, defiled, the lands are defiled, your food is defiled, your family is defiled. Your body is defiled. We're in a constant state of death. Okay? All right. So we're going to um, read on. <clears throat> I want to get Jeremiah, the 49th chapter. Because through that, there's going to be certain events that go, that go on for the downfall of Esau's kingdom, the so-called white man's kingdom, man. A lot of calamities are, are, are predestinated to come to this place. And you're starting to see those calamities around the world. Constant rumors of war, economic turmoil, diplomatic turmoil in different nations, regional conflicts coming out of nowhere. Now people are waking up more and more to the propaganda that the government has been giving them and the lies and BS that they've been having to eat and, and, and just basically just take, okay? The Most High put a spirit on the, on the planet to get riled up, to increase the state of war. You're seeing it happen before your eyes, okay? This is Jeremiah 49, and I'm starting at the 10th verse. But I have made Esau bear. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren, and his neighbors, and he is not. Leave thy fatherless children. I will preserve them alive, and let thy widows trust in me. Because after the, uh, after the destruction of America, you're still going to have Edomites around. What is set, and what is due for their seed? To come into captivity 
they're going to have to they're going to have to serve the same slavery or really a worse slavery that they put on the so-called negroes latinos and native americans they're going to rebuild the next kingdom man they're going to be put to work those left alive after the destruction of america okay for thus saith the lord behold they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunk it. Who was that? The Lord's chosen people, Israel. They drank of, the, uh, of that cup. What did that cup represent? Oppression, slavery, okay? Underneath the hands of Esau, okay? We wasn't supposed to drink of that cup, but we did. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Talking about Esau. Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. For I have sworn by myself, saith the Lord, that Basra shall become a desolation, a reproach, a waste, and a curse, and all the cities thereof shall be perpetual waste. So the Lord swore on himself. He made a vow unto himself that he was going to pay Esau back for the treacheries that, they, that he did to the, at the hands of Israel, man. And that's what we're waiting on. That's going to be the, the, uh, the, 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 the culmination of the switching of the changing of the guards man this so-called kind of interdimensional battle man was set to play out on earth through these group of people so-called negroes latinos and native americans and then these group of people the the so-called white man the edomites okay and that's what we're seeing that's what we're seeing unfold okay and so when i was talking about some of the things that's coming let's let's get that des described in the scriptures okay Cause that's 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 the markers. That's the key markers of understanding what's going on in this place. The prophecies. The prophecies broke down everything that's happening before your eyes, man. And that's why the elect are going to be saved there, cause they're going to have faith in what was told before. Okay. Second Ezra, the 15th chapter, <clears throat> starting at verse one. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in. In thy mouth said the Lord, and caused them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and the hurtful works are fulfilled. And, and you see that going on across the world. Under the vibration of the so-called white man, the Edomite, the whole world has been set and turned upside down from the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. Homosexuality is running, running rampant. People, uh, 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 whole countries are being annihilated for unjust, unrighteous decrees. Okay? And we talked about earlier, look at the state of the, the, the earth itself, man. The earth is dying in front of our eyes, man. Uh, uh, an unprecedented number of extinct animals and endangered species. You know, you can't get the proper nutrients out your food. You got to take supplements and pills, and then you still get sick. Okay, so wickedness is uh, the wickedness of the so-called white man is, is about to be fulfilled, man. It's about to be finished. He's going to push forward towards his new world order. He's going to push forward uh, towards trying to basically control the whole earth and and take on the birthright that he lost. Like the brother spoke about earlier, and, and 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 once he almost gets a hold of that, that's when the Most High is gonna cut him off. Okay, so we're gonna get, but it's all gonna be through the Lord. It's all gonna be through the power and, and, and majesty of, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Okay, <clears throat> this is a book of Romans, the 16th chapter, and the 20th verse. And the and the Most High peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Yahweh Shammashiach be with you. Amen. And, that, and that's what we're waiting on. We're waiting for basically uh, the, since, since the time of Genesis, the third chapter, the seed of, of the Satan versus the seed of the woman to, to culminate and to change out of the hands. And that seed of the Satan is the so-called white man. Okay? And the seed of the woman is the nation of Israel. Okay? All right. And this is all, and this is all through the word of the Heavenly Father that we know these things. Okay. Isaiah, this is the book of Isaiah, the eleventh chapter, and we're gonna start at the tenth verse. It says, "In that in that day, there shall be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for an ensign of the people. It shall it sh 
to it shall the Gentiles seek, and his rest shall be glorious. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people which shall be left. Because what happened? The nation of Israel was conquered, taken down through various captivities, and this now is the greatest captivity. And during, during that, we've been scattered across the whole earth. So after the fall, after the fall of Esau, we got, we, um, we're going to be gathered together, man. So we can reestablish order on the planet under the true power. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Okay? That's that sign. Alright? It's that Lord, it's the Lord coming back to so we can so we can get this thing going, man. Alright? It says, and from Syria and from Egypt, from Pathros and from Cush, and from Elam and from Shinar, and from Hamath, and from the islands of the sea. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather to get together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. The envy also of Ephraim shall depart and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not envy Judah and Judah shall not vex Ephraim because the whole nation is going to come together, man. The northern kingdom and the southern kingdom, you so-called Negroes that have problems with the so-called Latinos and Native Americans, all that's going to be done away, man. We're going to come under one rule and one order through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, okay? And and but 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 first we're waiting on on, on that on the on the coming of the Lord, man, because He's going to come. It's going to be a spiritual downfall of America first, man. A spiritual downfall of America first, and then it's just gonna play out on the earth, man, with with just with with utter destruction. Thessalonians 1 and 6. It says, Seeing is a righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. It's a good thing that the Lord has come back and is gonna repay the, the, the chief nation Esau and all the other nations for, for troubling and touching the apple of his eye, the nation of Israel. Okay? Uh, and to to who are trouble rests with us. When the Lord, when the Lord shall be revealed from heaven with His mighty angels, because the Lord is going to come back in, in, in what the world calls UFOs, man, they're going to come back with dominating chariots, man, that are going to pelt the earth, okay, and punish and punish the the wicked. All right, it says, in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not the Most High and that obey not the gospel of our of our Lord Yahweh Shammah who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory and from the glory of his power, man. And, and so that that's what's going to happen. Those those uh, chosen elect of, of the nation of Israel are going to be caught up with the Lord, man. And then the Lord is going to proceed forth to absolutely destroy the wicked on the earth to reestablish a new kingdom. OK. One more. Baruch, chapter four. Verse 25, it says, My children suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High, for thy enemy hath persecuted thee. Our chief enemy is the nation of Esau. But shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shalt tread upon his neck. My delicate ones have gone through rough ways and were taken away as a flock caught of the enemies. Be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto the Most High, for you shall be remembered of him and brought... And of him that, that brought these things upon you. For as is your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned, seek him ten times more. So now on this side, man, now um, the word of the Heavenly Father has gone out. You're seeing fruit pop up all across the nation prophesying the downfall of America. That's going to keep continuing until the 144 is sealed. Once the 144 is sealed, it's a wrap for this kingdom pursuing the prophecy. So we have good comfort with the promise that the Most High made that he swore on himself that he was going to take this nation down and raise the nation of Israel up. That's what's coming, okay? Baruch 4 and 29. For he that have brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy again with your salvation. Take a good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. Miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoiced at thy fall. Miserable are the cities which thy children served. Miserable is she that received thy sons. For as she re rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. For I will take away the rejoicing of a great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. For fire shall come upon her from the everlasting long to endure, and she shall be inhabited of devils for a great time. 
and that's and that's what's going to happen to this place so this this is this is what we hasten the day for this is what the elect of the nation of israel are going to have faith in and be gathered together for after america goes down and with that i'm going to say shalom <laughs>